the channel, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well today. We're gonna talk about all the new beauty launches. I am so excited to get into it because it's been a while. I know that Pat McGrath has some stuff. I know that Charlotte Tilbury has some new stuff. There is even some stuff from ColourPop I'm kind of interested in. So I can't wait to talk about all of that and just get caught up. I love these videos so we can just chat about the new stuff coming out. Just ponder, man. Like even if we don't buy it, even if we do, whatever. I just wanna chat about what's happening and I feel like I have a lot to catch up on and I'm excited to honestly just sit down and look through what's coming out because I feel like I don't even know. <laughs> I've just been like filming, editing, uploading, like that's been my life and I can't wait to see what's out there. But before we do that, I am excited to say that Scentbird is sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service and they have tons of different perfumes on their website. They have designer, they have niche, they have celebrity, they even have a lot of clean fragrances if that's something you're looking for. Each month you get to pick out your own 30 day supply of perfume. You guys know I'm into the perfumes, okay? I just started my perfume channel and I've actually been personally subscribed to Scentbird for the last like year and a half. So I really like the service and I think it could be a good one if you're looking to maybe find your signature scent. Maybe you want to test some things out on your skin, make sure it really jives with you before you commit to a full size bottle. Or maybe you just like some variety and you like to switch things up. Scentbird can be a really great way to try out different fragrances, get accustomed to different notes, see what you like, and maybe have some different offerings for different occasions or for different seasons. They recently actually updated their packaging, so I really love it. It's nice and aesthetic. It's super easy to use. You just flip over the top, just kind of twist it, and then you can spray it out, but then when you... <laughs> Try not to spray the camera. And if you wanna throw it in your purse or just have it, you know, it locks in place so it's not spraying everywhere. It's also super easy to change out the vials. You just pop off the top, it's magnetic, and pop it back on into place, super duper easy. Let's talk about the three that I picked out this month though. I actually got to pick out from the full site. I'm so excited. So starting off, I picked out La Vanilla Pure Vanilla. This is a classic, it's been around for a while, but I love a vanilla scent, so I really wanted to try this one out. Also, I love these little cheat sheets that come in. I usually spray the perfume on it so I can smell it. I use it as like my blotter card, but also it has the notes on it and a little bit about the fragrance. I just love these little cheat sheets. So La Vanilla has vanilla, tonka bean, some heliotrope. It's more of a powdery vanilla, but it still is really cozy and comforting. So I'm really excited to have that one in my arsenal. Next we have a fancy one, okay? I did. I picked out some Creed, which is pretty expensive. So it's really nice to be able to make sure you really like it if you're unsure about going for the full bottle. I chose Aventus for her and this one is a more fresh scent. So it has like apple in it. It has some bergamot in it. It also has a little bit of peach, some sandalwood. It's a nice, fresh, like more uplifting kind of scent, but it still smells really nice and expensive. There's also the rose in there, which adds something almost like to me, a little bit peppery or spicy, just slightly though. I'm excited for this. This smells expensive. Like this smells expensive. And then last I picked out Hermetica Source One. This is more of those like skin scents. So think something like Julia Has a Gun or Glossier U. Um, this has more of a warmth to it though, and also a bit of citrus. So it has bergamot in the top and you do get that but then I feel like as it wears on my body, the ambery notes, the woody notes that are in here really come out and it just, it's like a soft warmth that kind of emanates in the scent off my body. Anyway, that's what I get. I really love it too because the amber that's in here and the woody notes that are in here kind of give off that slightly burnt smell that I really like, like toasted kind of smell. Mm, so, so good. So those are the scents that I picked out this month, but if you're interested in trying out Scentbird, you can use my code LaurenMB2. That will save you 55% off your first month. That'll make your first month a little more than seven dollars which is a great price trust me perfumes can get expensive Scentbird is available in the u.s and canada so if you want to test out some new perfumes maybe find a new favorite i do think Scentbird's a great option so thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video and thank you so much to you guys for all your support i really appreciate it but now let's get on to the new beauty launches okay so we've had a costume change a lip change there's been a lot going on to be honest <laughs> what matters is that we're here now right so let's actually get into the new beauty launches this video has been a lot trust me just trust me all right, diving straight in. The first thing that I'm seeing is some new stuff from Too Faced. This is called Pinker Times Ahead. That's the palette and the whole collection, I guess. And looking at the palette, I do see some interesting textures going on. I don't know if it's real glitter. I don't know if it's just sparkle and shimmer. And I do like that, but overall the palette itself, it's just not, I think it's just not for me, you know? There's some color in there though. Uh, it's more pastel. I think it's like going into almost like a spring-ish long. I know we're still, it's like December, it's not even Christmas yet, what am I talking about? I get it, I get that. <laughs> but if it's a launch more for like spring like that, I can kind of understand it, but it's just not for me. There are also a few different blushes going on. Oh, it's a blush and highlighter hybrid. 
glossy powder, as well as cloud blush, which is a diffuse blurring blush in six shades. So the blushes I'm more interested in than anything else, but it seems like they're probably gonna be all pink, which would make sense with the collection name. And I don't know if that's really what I'm into either. Like I like a pink blush, but do I want these pink blushes? I don't think so. So I'm probably gonna pass on all of that. Like just really not interested, not really getting me. Something that is really exciting, I actually got tagged in this. This is from Elsie Cosmetics. And I recently, if you watched my declutter video, I was like going through all my stuff and I was like, you know, Elsie I feel like is so underrated. And seeing this palette, I'm like, okay, well maybe this is the one for me to get. This is the Minimalist Special Edition Volume 2 palette. It has five different shades. All of them look metallic. I don't quite know what all the textures are, but they have me excited. They're neutral, there's a gold, a silver, some bronzy shades, a copper, like an icy pink, and I really like it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the layout. I got, you know, some pans are bigger, some pans are smaller. I, you know, some uniformity would be nice, but I know that this is how these palettes are, because there are other palettes in this range that do the same thing. But I love that they're all shimmer. I love that it's small. Like, there's so much about this that really marks off, like, it checks off all the boxes for me. So I am interested in this. I don't see a price here, um, but it comes out very soon. So that might be something I pick up actually. I said in that video, like I wanna try more LC stuff. Like I, I think they're underrated. So I might be picking that one up. Let's just talk about the Pat McGrath and Star Wars collection that's coming out. When Pat McGrath was teasing us, she was like, oh, 48 hours, you'll see the full collection. So I was excited. I didn't know what it was gonna be, but I saw something that looked like a five pan. So I, I got my hopes up a little, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because I personally don't care about the Star Wars collection, okay? I didn't care about the first one. I don't care about this one, to be honest. Like, as in the actual IP, I'm just not, I don't care. Like, I know some people will and it'll be the collection for them, they'll be so excited, but I'm not into it. Looking at this, the big mothership that's in here is actually the Midnight Sun palette, so it's just Star Wars edition of that. It's not a new, like, mothership, but there are some five pans, which I love the five pans that came out for holiday. I just talked about those literally in like one of my most recent videos. I love them and these ones look beautiful as well. Like they look mostly shimmer heavy, which <laughs> I love. I like the color stories overall, like they look fun. And I'm really, really hopeful that we're gonna see more of these going into 2023. But these ones specifically, I don't think I'm gonna pick up because I don't care that they're Star Wars. So, you know, it's just like to try to get them before they sell out all that, like, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Also for them to just not be available like uh, immediately. Mm. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> you know, I just don't love Star Wars enough. Like it's not for me. It's not for me. Even though the Darth Vader one is probably the one I like most. Those colors are pretty. I like the red, like, oh, very, very pretty. And then the other thing that caught my eye though are these little shadow pots. Again, love this. Love the idea of this. I want, I want every brand to have a shadow pot, okay? Every single brand out there, please make single shadow shadow pots, please. But what I don't want is Star Wars limited edition ones. I don't want limited edition. So I'm not gonna buy these even though they are very much up my alley. I'm just hoping and manifesting that she will come out with these in the full line, in the regular line, and that's when I will buy them. <laughs> when she has them in the permanent line that they're gonna be around for a couple years, then I will buy them and we'll test them and we can all talk about our favorite colors and all of that. But for limited edition ones, I'm not gonna buy those for it to be irrelevant in two seconds when I don't even care about Star Wars, you know? Like I'm not gonna do it. So not the collection for me, although it is quite a pretty collection. And I think if you love packaging, you love Star Wars, it could be a good one for you, but I am passing on that one. Next, there's some stuff from Linda Hallberg. These are some blush duos and these also are really pretty. I am quite tempted by them. They are gonna be $32 and these are the Duo Dimension uh, multi-use duo palette. So you can use them on the eyes and the cheeks. I really love the kind of cooler toned mauve one because I don't really have a ton of blushes actually that are that color. So that one has me intrigued, but honestly all of the duos here are very pretty. I love that they're shimmery. I love that <laughs> I actually love a blush duo too. So I, I think these are great I don't know for sure if I'm gonna pick them up, but I definitely am intrigued by them I love the swatches. They look pretty pigmented too So that's like a good thing and a bad thing I feel like sometimes with blush there are some new perfumes out from Marc Jacobs These are like I want to smell them I'm excited to smell them, but I will not be purchasing these without smelling them first like I 
I learned my lesson from last year when the Skies collection came out. I was just so excited and you know, wanted to dry them. So I bought one and it smells good. Like a lot of the flinkers for Daisy have that same Daisy smell and that's a very nostalgic smell. Like I love that smell, but I don't need like the tiniest variation difference. So to me, I wanna smell these in person and see if one of those maybe would work for me. These are the Paradise Edition flinkers, I guess. They're inspired by rare natural beauty and abundance of pink and purple florals, but they all have a different spin. So the Daisy Oh So Fresh has a lavender diva essence in it. The Daisy Love has an iris in it. And then the Daisy, just the regular Daisy Paradise has a poppy kind of flower note. So I wanna smell them. I'm excited to smell them, but I'm not gonna buy them without smelling them first because they're probably gonna be overall very similar to Daisy. That's how most of them go. Ooh, this is kind of exciting news from Glossier. They're coming out with a Glossier U candle. <laughs> Lots of perfume in this video, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lots of scent related stuff going on. $48 is kind of expensive when you think about the fact that Glossier U, the last time I checked, was $60. So you could just buy a bottle of Glossier U sprayed around your house many a many a time, but the candle is aesthetic. I will give it that. I will give it that. There's also an orange blossom and neroli candle. So I wonder if we're going to get a new perfume coming soon. I'm telling you scent is all the craze and I love it. I want everyone to be into scent. I think it's time we talk about the ColourPop Aurora Struck. This is the winter collection and this is one of the mega palettes. There's also some other stuff, but what I really care about is that big old palette because it is so pretty. This has some dark colors. It has some icy shades. It has blues and greens. Like I love the fantasy of this. I think they need nailed it on the packaging. They nailed it on like the theming, like the color story is beautiful. I don't think I'm gonna buy this at launch, but I could see myself at some point like getting a discount on it. I really love these mega palettes, which you guys know I'm not normally into a big old palette, but I do like the mega palettes because you can take them out as singles, just like the Natasha Denona shades. So for me, that's like a really big positive and plus, and I feel like these are some really unique colors compared to the other bigger palettes that have come out. So I could see myself like picking that up on a discount or something like that, because I do really Really like the color story and I could see it being used as singles like really easily so I love it I totally get why so many people would like it I love it I really do I don't want the highlighters though like I'm not really into the stick highlighters I have the stick blush that's like in a similar formula and I do really like it Roosevelt but I'm not really into those icy highlighters although they go with the theme so so well Ooh, let's talk about the color of the year the Pantone color of the year for 2023 is gonna be Viva Magenta it was like a periwinkle color I think for this year um, and I don't know, I kind of like it. A little bit vibrant, a little rich, you know, kind of nice. I don't feel super connected to it overall, but I like it, <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if it actually is a trend in the actual makeup that comes out. Some years have been like that and Sephora even in the past has done collaborations with Pantone. Um, they haven't done that in a while, but it'll be interesting to kind of see over time if that is a color we see reoccurring. Ooh, there's some stuff from e.l.f. I actually bought some stuff from e.l.f. So there is a new Power Grip Primer. It is the same formula. I believe, but this one has niacinamide in it. So I did actually pick this up because I was already on the site and I really, what I really wanted to try was the Luminous Putty Bronzer. I really like the Putty Bronzer from uh, e.l.f. I think it's a great formula. I'm actually wearing that today as my bronzer. So I really love it. And I'm like a luminous version, like let's try it out for sure. So I definitely wanted to pick that up. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna try this primer too. I know that the original like e.l.f. one is based off of the Milk Makeup one that came out and I don't necessarily love that so it'll be interesting to see how this plays but I really am wanting to try more base products wanting to try more primers foundations concealers that type of stuff going into the new year and you know just find some new favorites see what else is out there like we know we know that the coconut smoothie primer has my heart okay we know that the Yenta BC skin on skin or whatever it is BC foundation is my favorite okay we know this we know it it's time to broaden our horizons <laughs> so I bought that I bought the luminous putty bronzer and I also did pick up the new uh mascara from e.l.f. as well. They're basically ripping off the roller lash from Benefit. I have not tried that mascara in I don't know how long, but I am on a golden streak with mascaras lately. Like I love the Tower 28 one. I love this Gucci one. That's what I'm wearing right now, a little Gucci. Love that mascara as well. So I am just fingers crossed that I love this.
this, especially if it's based off Roller Lash. I think I liked Roller Lash in the past. All I can really remember of any of the Benefit mascaras is that the They're Real has the spiky ball on the end and also is like impossible to get off your fucking lashes. Like it is so hard to get off. That's all I remember. So I'm excited to try out some new things. Obviously love that e.l.f. is affordable and I can't wait to try that stuff. So those are coming to me. You will see those in videos. Something I almost bought when they were previewing it on the Sephora app, but then I didn't because I was like, well, I want to do the 20% off. Maybe I'll buy more stuff. Blah, blah. Now they're all sold out. But this is the Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter from Rare Beauty. These look beautiful. I was just, you know, one of the reasons I was hesitant to pick them up in the pan look stunning. They look so metallic, so shiny in a way that I am so excited, but I couldn't tell from the first initial like launching of it if it was powder or not, or if it was cream. And I was like, I kind of want it to be powder. So that kind of held me back. But also if you look at Selena Gomez's face for the ad, I'm honestly like, where the fuck is a highlighter? You look at the pans and you're like, oh, look at that shine. Oh my gosh. You go to her face and you're like, are they on her face right now? Because if that's what the effect is, she looks beautiful. Do not get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying this isn't beautiful. I love this look, everything's great. I'm just saying, I don't feel like this is a face that looks like it's highlighting a highlighter. <laughs> You know what I mean? So that kind of threw me off as well. And the swatches too, I just was like, I can't tell what's going on. I also, you know, I didn't want the iciest highlighter that's in here. Cause I, I want something with a little bit more of a beige to it. But I also didn't know if the mesmerize shade, which is a little bit more pinky or the exhilarate shade would be too dark. So I wanted to see them in person. That was something I wanted to do. So we'll see. I think I will pick them up. I've heard some really great things about them so far. I do want to see them in person though. So I can make sure I pick up the right one and make sure the shade are right because that's really my concern at this point now now the, with all the information i do have but they look so pretty and again manifesting i'm telling you for 2023 single potted eyeshadows more small palettes quince and quads please dear goodness and also highlighters that's what i want it's like we had the year of the blush and cream bronzer amazing love that for all of us but now can we get back to the serious business of highlighters guys can we please thank you i know i might be the only one but i don't care like i love Highlighter so much. That's what I want to buy. That's what I actually want to buy. There's some new stuff from Made by Mitchell. There are pressed blushes. There are pressed bronzers. The blushes, lots of interesting shades um, and interesting packaging as well. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to pick those up. I've never tried anything from Made by Mitchell, but I do really love these cream palettes that have come out. They're like multi-use color palettes. They remind me of the Makeup Forever ones. Like that reminds me of back in the day, man. That's how you were like doing Halloween looks with your Makeup Forever um, uh, color palette, you know what I'm talking about? And then people buy the dupe from like AliExpress and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's called like eye magic. <laughs> anyway, I love this. I love the colors. I think they're so fun. I just, I'm not gonna use it. Where the fuck am I using that? I'm not gonna use it. I know myself and I, I wonder if this formula actually locks down or if it's more like a cream that you have to set with powder because I know that's how the Makeup Forever ones are and I feel like that would make more sense in a palette like this if it wasn't like super, super airtight because they'd dry out. It dries to a matte finish is what they say. So maybe it does lock down, I don't know. But I love the colors, you know, the neutral one. I feel like you could make foundations with it maybe, but you wouldn't want a locking down formula for that. But the colorful one, like I love these colors. These colors feed my eyeballs f happy thoughts. Like I love to look at it. Oh, I love it. But I know I don't actually need, like it doesn't need to come into my collection. doesn't need to come to my home because it's not going to get use. I feel like for people who do editorial stuff on like Instagram or really pretty photos, Halloween stuff, anything like that, special effects, like it could be amazing fantasy stuff, but I don't really do that. And I definitely would want to make sure if I were going to do something like that, that it would lock down for the few times and reasons and why's. I would actually use it. Another ColourPop collection. They just like were coming out with so many things. I'm like, is this the holiday one? Is the Muppets the holiday one? Which one? This is the Disney and It's a Small World collection. I thought this was really cute. I normally hate when palettes have different pan shapes in the palette itself, but I actually don't mind it in here. I know that they're doing it based off of like the ride and all the stuff and with the imprints and everything. I got like, I get it. Like I get the vibe. I kind of like it. Definitely fits the colors. I just know I'm probably not going to wear this. So to me, it's just like this cute little thing like oh that's cute little nostalgia but kind of like the ride itself you do it once and then you're like oh yeah that's why we don't ride that one and we just go wait in line for Indiana Jones, you know? That's why we do that, why we go to Splash Mountain instead, you know? And so I'm kind of taking that there. Like, it's fun to look at, cool, cool, cool. I don't want that though. I don't actually want that makeup in my life, but I love looking at the photos, that's cute. What else? <laughs> okay, what else is there? Face Blue is coming out with a whale transforming lip balm. 
What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? It kind of looks like, like a whale, I guess, but it kind of just looks like a pointed phallic symbol, you know? I am not interested in this. It's one of those pH freaking <laughs> lip things. That's probably what actually the trend is. I know I'm manifesting other things, but I think what we're actually gonna get is a shit ton of pH balancing, pH changing, mood shifting uh, products. We're back to that, I think, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna pick that up. I feel like Base Blue is very interesting. I've gotten PR from them in the past and they always come out with like very unique or different things like I feel like a very big part of their brand is like shock factor or like gimmicks I guess and this falls in line like they are staying to true to brand and mission statement <laughs> with this one I mean I'm sure it's fine I'm sure it feels fine it's like whatever it's just you know again I there's so many other lip balms on my list I would not buy that continuing on and speaking of lip stuff lip masks this is a a more Pacific and Laneige with BTS collaboration extravaganza with a bunch of lip masks so there is a butter one that's kind of interesting a peach iced tea and a sweet candy so that's kind of fun I mean I love the lip sleeping masks from Laneige so I think this is kind of cute obviously if someone loved BTS it would be kind of fun I can't believe there's one called butter like I just want to smell it <laughs> I want to smell it I want to taste it. I want to put it on my lips but I'm not gonna actually buy it to do that but man kind of fun kind of weird <laughs> It's a mix of everything, isn't it? This from Byredo, this is kind of cool. A Byredo eyeshadow palette. This is a $58 little quint. And the Byredo packaging is kind of interesting. It almost looks like this meteor rock that's purple and pink and violet. And then inside the colors actually match that as well. So that's kind of cool. I have swatched these in store. I can't remember what I thought of them just from swatches. This isn't my color story to go out and buy this, but I am, you know, if Byredo comes out with another one of those big palettes that are like all shimmer I might I might go for it I'm not gonna lie like I'm just being real with you I might go for it but that one I'm not going to even though $58 I know that's expensive but honestly I almost expect Byredo to charge more because I think at this point Dior quads are more than that or quince are more than that so you're getting a deal <laughs> okay more pleasing nail polishes these are really cute actually colors they're more uh pastel definitely more for like springtime I'm assuming these are the super magic family time I think I've seen Seen these in a video or something and they were way bigger than I expected. I was like, dang, those are like some honkers, you know, like we're pretty big. So they're bigger than I expect, but I I can't be bothered to paint my nails. <laughs> I painted my nails maybe in 2022, I don't know, twice, two times and two times, two times. I'm not interested in those, but I do think they're kind of aesthetic and you know, it continues. I, I, I will give something to some of the celebrity stuff, like seeing continued curated, four pack collections. At least it's continuing and it feels like, okay, there's some theming, there's some branding going on. Like it's not just a one-time cash grab at least. <laughs> it's a forever cash grab. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm just saying, you know, time always makes me feel like, okay, at least maybe there was more to this, you know? Okay, let's talk about this. This is the Avatar collection from NYX Cosmetics. I think this is their holiday maybe. I'm gonna try to go find really good pictures of all of this stuff because it's pretty interesting. I, you know, fun fact, I've not seen the original Avatar. I never saw that when it came out and I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, can we just get flat lays? I forget that everything's a freaking moving picture on Instagram, a moving picture. Why can't we just get a picture? So the palette itself has like some textures put into it. We have some split pans, lots of different sized eyeshadows. It's kind of chaotic. I don't know. I wish, you know, if, if it's me, you know I'm gonna say this. I wish it was quads. Just make some different themed quads with different characters or something on it. I don't know. I'm just a little bit tired, honestly, of so many IP collabs. I'm not gonna lie. It's just like, what is next? Like, I think we should come up with a video where we're just like saying the most random collabs and I promise you they're gonna happen in 2023 2024 it's just it almost feels like they need this stuff to sell the makeup now like it, before it felt fun now it feels like desperate and like we have to have like this collab with this collab like the Amore Pacific Amore Pacific is its own brand Laneige is its own brand I don't think they're connected you can tell me if I'm wrong maybe I'm just wrong and we have BTS we have to have three fan bases come together <laughs> to maybe maybe purchase this stuff you know and even at that point is it is it gonna get pretty I don't know 
I don't know. And so anyway, um, yeah, I'm not gonna buy any of that. I'm not really interested. I really, I just personally don't want it. A palette collab I actually liked. I know I'm just talking shit about IP collabs, but this one I thought was pretty. This is the Strawberry Shortcake and Glam Light collaboration. There's a really bright pink blush and there's also a green and kind of pink themed palette. I mean, it hits the theming and color story right on the head, right on the head. You know, we have reds, we have pinks, we have greens, we have icy colors. And I feel like Glam Light does that. Like they take the color story and they're like this is it and they put it in the palette and that is it the swatches actually are more interesting to me than just looking at the palette itself you can see some of the different textures and some of the different finishes and also um, it looks like there's some duochrome things happening so I actually really think the swatches sell this a little bit more than even the pan but I thought this was still a cute collection and I like that it wasn't a ton of pieces like there's a blush there's I guess a sponge we don't need that necessarily I guess there's lot there is a lot the palette and the blush are cute, but everything else is maybe not what I would want. Okay, this I feel like I was actually seeing a lot of places. This is from MAC. It's from the Holiday Collection and it's the Fizzy Feels Lip Balm in Taste of Bubbly. And it's just this like shimmery lip balm, like sheer balm thing. And it's pretty and I understand like um the virality part of this product because it has so much sparkle and like you twist it out of the tube and it looks so like pretty and like, you know, you get starstruck and all that. But I just don't know if it's actually that amazing. I feel like we've seen this. I'm like, is anyone else feeling that way? Is this it's just me because I feel like I'm just seeing everyone love it but I've seen a lot of brands do it where they have the sparkle on the outside I don't know I just can't tell if this is like meant to be worn every day or just meant to be pretty on social media like you know what I mean so not sure about that a lip balm I almost bought and I probably will buy at some point soon ish this is the plush put in intensive recovery lip mask from Fenty I love a lip balm okay I do and I like something that makes me feel plush and like expensive like <laughs> I like it okay I do this is something I'm definitely Definitely interested in not that I need another lip balm by any means but I like it I like that <laughs> I like the direction there's a holiday collection from Trixie cosmetics it's meant to look like um like an easy bake oven type thing with the different cookies and stuff it's kind of fun really cute playful I've been watching the Trixie and Katya podcast but on YouTube whatever <laughs> oh yeah I've been watching that love it so I want to like this more and I want to buy it because of that but I'm not actually gonna buy it because I don't want it but um yeah I'm like looking out more I'm not gonna lie I am I think that Trixie's also doing a collaboration with let's see I think sugar pill yeah and I think this is the second one they did this before so this is the oh honey 2 palette I mean I think the color story is nice and deep I like the packaging again I don't think I'm actually gonna buy it I know Ugh. but I do think it's pretty overall like it's okay okay I felt like I was missing out on so much but there's like so much I just kind of whatever whatever well I know something I for sure want when it comes out these are the Hollywood glow Glide Face Architect Highlighters hmm, from Charlotte Tilbury. Kind of a long name. $48. Oh, breaking my little heart, but um, I definitely want to try these. I hope that they're going to be good. I hope they're not like that limited edition highlighter in 2020. Please don't be that formula. Please be the good formula. Please be the good formula. But I mean, I'm going to definitely buy these. <laughs> I'm definitely going to buy them. Coming out in seven shades. I'm glad it's not just four. I feel like a lot of highlighters come out in fours, but seven we got some hopefully some room to see some different color variations some different tones that has me excited i know there's stuff from indie brands i want to talk about lethal they came out with some palettes for holiday and they are really quite pretty there's two different palettes one is the metamorphosis and one is the evergreen there's also some brushes and also some empty palettes but really we're here we're here for the the full palette so the evergreen one is the greener one and i really love that the texture is in here also look really intriguing. I don't know if it's a new formula. I kind of think it is. So that has me excited. There's also the Metamorphosis, which is more warm tone and reds. And that also looks so pretty. It looks like there's some really good textures. And again, like some multi-chrome, duochrome type thing going on. Like I'm just... I'm intrigued, like I wanna put my little fingers in them. So those are kind of exciting, and especially too, cause it's colorful. Like I know, mm, I don't know how much I'll use them, but man, I thought they were really stunning, really pretty. And then also Ace Beauté, they have a new palette, I think, or maybe two. It was like every brand was coming out with two new palettes. I was like, what the heck? We got twins going, twins, twins, twins. This is the Cosmic Collection, and I really love the purple with like the grungy yellow. Mm, 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 mm. 
their Aura and Envy. So the Aura palette is the one I'm talking about with the purples and also this kind of golden mustardy colors, like a very interesting color story, very pretty. If you love color and you've been waiting for these indie brands to come out with shit, I feel like they really were, they were doing it. <laughs> they were doing it. Then the Envy palette is more like blues and greens, kind of like a revamped version, honestly, of the Oceanic palette from them. So um, I really loved seeing those palettes come out. I don't know if I'll actually buy them, but it did have me wanting to maybe try some of the Lethal singles. I think they might be released as singles also. And I could see myself picking maybe some of those up. And I also just wanted to explore my singles I already have more of. Like I wanna, like, oh, maybe I should go check those out. Maybe I should take Teresa's palettes apart and you know, create my own color stories and get excited about what I have. So that had me excited. I think I'm gonna end it here. I mean, I thought there was a little bit more coming out, but nothing else I'm really that excited about anyway. So those are my thoughts. Definitely interested in some of the highlighters that are coming out. I'm really hopeful there'll be more, especially for spring and summer, like please. I'd love to know what your thoughts on any of this stuff is. Like, what are you picking up? Have you picked up anything new? I feel like it kind of dies down once we get this close to holiday and then we'll start seeing some of those spring kind of sneak peeks and launches. And I think by that time I'll be ready for some stuff. I've been enjoying some stuff and I bought some stuff during Black Friday that I definitely still need to use and test, get excited about and use. So, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to try out the service and get a perfume each month, you can use my code LaurenMB two to save 55% off your first month. And thank you for everyone who uses my links or, you know, supports my sponsors. It really does help the channel out and I appreciate it. But um, thank you. I'm going to leave it here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.